Hi everybody, this is Kestrel from Quick Tech Now. So we've all heard of the Steam OS, or the Steam Box, but no big commercial companies have made one available yet. Now the Steam OS is available to download. But please keep in mind that the Steam OS is in a very early beta phase, and it will have a lot of bugs and missing features. In this video I'm going to walk you through the components that you need to purchase to make your very own Steam Machine or Steam Box. The first thing on our list will be a Roswell Challenger Black. This comes in a mere $49.99. I personally love this case. It looks good, it has great cooling, it has lots of fans, it's quiet, it's reliable, and overall has good build quality. The only thing that I find somewhat wrong with this case is that it only features a 140mm case fan on the top. I'd rather it have two 140mm case fan vents instead of just one. Other than that, I think that it's a great case and it will be perfect for this build. Alright, next up we got the CPU. For the CPU, we're going to be using an AMD FX 63000. This processor has a cheap price point of only $119.99. I've owned the FX 6100 before and I thoroughly enjoyed it. It was a great processor, it was great for overclocking, and it was quiet. This CPU has a 3.5 base clock with a turbo of up to 4.1. For this build, I think this CPU fits pretty well and should perform pretty well on most modern games on high to medium settings. For the graphics card, we're gonna be using a little less mainstream graphics card. We're gonna be using the GeForce GTX 650 Ti 2GB. This graphics card only costs $149.99 and has decent reviews on Newegg. It has a $75 off coupon for three different games on Nvidia's site. It also has dual fans, which are always a plus. And finally, it has four display ports. This graphics card should do good for most games, running at medium to high settings. Next, for the power supply, we have a RAID Max 530W power supply for only $39.99. It matches the case with a blue LED, it's got good reviews, and it's modular. Modular power supplies come in handy when you're trying to install stuff and they make your case look a lot better. Though this power supply is a cheap power supply, it does not mean that it's a bad power supply. With the reviews, there's been tons and it is rated for stars on Newegg, so there's nothing to worry about, even with a low price point. For the motherboard, we don't have anything special, just an Asus Micro ATX AM3 Plus motherboard. It supports DDR3 RAM, it has a great BIOS, but it only supports 8 gigs of memory, which can be a problem, but in this build you're not going to be using more than that. Speaking of RAM, we are going to be using the Ripjaw X series. 2x4GB sticks running at 1333MHz. Though they are on the slower end of the RAM side for DDR3 RAM, I have been using these sticks for around a year now and they seem to have been holding up pretty well. They have good cooling, they look cool, and they seem to be working great for most people. These should do fine for this build and should not hinder the performance in any way. Now for the hard drive, we're going to be using a 1TB Western Digital Blue hard drive for only $60. It has a fast speed of 7,200 rounds per minute. I own one of these and it seems to be working good. Keep in mind, this is not an SSD, but it does work pretty well. The only downside that I've found from this is that there's some weird high-pitched noises that you seem to hear, but that is expected of high-speed hard drives. Now for the operating system, here's where we luck out. Since the new Steam OS came out, we're going to be able to use that, which is free. Usually when you create a gaming PC, you have to spend over $100 on an operating system. 
the Steam OS is completely free, so that eliminates about $100 off of your total amount that you're paying. Now please keep in mind that you are going to need a flash drive for this since we did not include a CD drive in this build. You can pick them up easily for around $10 and they should be that hard to find. The only problem with this is you're only going to be able to run games that support Linux. This amount of games is constantly increasing now that the SteamOS is out and you should expect more games to start supporting Linux in the future. So just as a recap, what we're going to have in our build will be an AMD FX 6300 processor, a Roswell Challenger Black case, an Asus GeForce GTX 650 Ti 2GB, a RAID Master power supply, a Micro ATX AMD motherboard, the G-Skill Ripjaw X series 8GB of DDR3 RAM running at 1333MHz, a Western Digital 1TB hard drive running on the Steam OS. This will come to a total of $549.93 before rebate and only, and only $509.93 after rebate. This is pretty competitive with the Xbox One and PS4, given that you're going to have a more powerful system than an Xbox One or a PS4. If you would like to check out the spreadsheet, feel free to look in the description and I will provide a link so you can see the Google Doc with all the recording links. Tell me what you guys thought of this video. Did you like it? Did you dislike it? Comment it below. Thank you guys for watching and have a nice day.